hot. Too hot today. I think we should go swimming. Roughly lining it up with the center of the cabin to the center of the shed, and then parallel with the back wall of the cabin. This going to bother me. I know from overhead with the drone, if I look down and just see this off center, but I think I could go that way.
Are you bringing that to me, Bo? <laughs> Thanks. That's what I was looking for.
cabins. Thanks for watching this video. Hopefully I get this uh, shed that I'm working on done before I finish editing this video. And I want to thank Yoshino for sponsoring this video, which is timely. As you saw, I broke my camera last week and I did have to order a new one. And ironically, I found out the next day that my drone was also not no longer working. I could not fix it. So another couple thousand dollars for a drone as well. So timely. Um, Yoshino is a company that's really trying to set a new standard I think for these in these uh, portable power station this is the B4000 solid state technology portable power station which means it has 4000 watts and 2.6 kilowatt hours of potential output for running my appliances and for just using it on the go because of that solid state battery technology this is quite a bit lighter it's not super light of course but it's way lighter than the other products that I've used with different battery technologies so it's it is lighter it's a greener more sustainably made uh, more reliable and it lasts a lot longer with those solid state batteries the whole system is about half the weight of a traditional lithium battery system it lasts about two and a half times longer than the typical lithium batteries that I have in some of the other units that I have so about 2500 cycles recharge and discharge cycles which I'll never use in my lifetime so as far as that quick charging time especially when you plug it into the wall or if you use all three panels like I have uh, but anyway 70 minutes to charge it to 80 percent which is pretty amazing that smart link expansion that I showed you that port down at the bottom of the unit you can connect infinite number of batteries to that so I can expand that system I could actually even use it as a main cabin system got two AC receptacles pure sine wave as well so it protects your electronic gear a lot of times well actually especially on our trip out west some of the campgrounds the power was extremely intermittent extremely variable which is not good for electronics so a unit like this um, solid state a lithium battery system has uh, the inverter built in that's a pure sine wave inverter so it levels out the the quality of the power the other thing is that this one is so small that it actually fits into that compartment where I couldn't get any other units that I have to fit in there, especially one that provides also that 30 amp power that I needed. And a lot of those other portable power banks that I've been using don't charge, um, if they charge, maybe down to zero, where this one will charge all the way down to minus 10 and it will operate all the way down to minus 20 Celsius. So I ran this heavy cable, which was just a really heavy extension cord, 30 amp extension cord. I ran that down into the AC input on the inverter, uh, we call it the uh, charge control and inverter for the main power bank for the cabin. So when I don't have the solar panels hooked up and I did disconnect them and I'm putting another different system down, I'm putting a different system down in front of the cabin, down over the stream, I'll show you that later. I'd rather not ever use gas and I don't actually use it very often because I have these portable solar bags. This is the best of all the ones I've tried so far. But this one here, I think is, well, one of the systems had it, but it didn't actually work for us. Uh, the 30 amp output here, receptacle, is a game changer for me. I'm gonna plug that in right now because the batteries down in the basement are at 50% right now, or slightly under, I think. So I'm gonna plug this in. 30 amp cord, 30 amp fuse. Charging the batteries down the basement.
Forget it then. I won't throw it. You don't want me to.